Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this episode of Indie Power Hour. Our last episode centered on Texture Sys. Click on our videos if you want to check that one out. This week, we are playing Ellen, a horror game centered on the brutal murder of the Smith family and the disappearance of their only daughter, Ellen. While Ellen's body was never recovered, the townsfolk generally assumed that she was dead, till rumors spread about a little girl's silhouette being seen in the windows of the Smith family mansion. You play as a young detective named James, and your goal is to solve the mystery. You're going to do this by completing puzzles and interacting with the various items that you'll encounter throughout the game. The game also features a 2D pixel art style, which is pretty gorgeous, and it also features a spooky soundtrack, which provides a great atmosphere. So now that we've kind of broken down our basic facts for this game, let's get right into it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of uh, Indie Power Hour here. So we've got Ellen started off. I just take a minute here, I want you to listen to this creepy, creepy soundtrack. I don't like it. <laughs> I played the demo for this a while back, um, and... The full game actually just released after I played the demo, and so I wanted to get the full game and play it. I don't normally play a lot of games on uh, Game Jolt. Uh, this is a game that I think is only available on Game Jolt. Um, so this is going to be an interesting experience. I don't. I think that this is the first time for Indie Power Hour I'll be covering a horror game. Um, it's a very interesting game. It's very beautifully done. I think that... Ooh... He's like falling off an edge. So we play as that guy down here in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see him. Um, yeah, and he's like desperately just trying to cling to the floor, but he keeps falling and sliding and slipping. Ooh, ooh, guys, I, oh. It's, so, it's such a creepy, creepy game. Oh, is this a loading screen? Guys, look at how long it has to load. Oh, oh, thank God. I was about to be like, wasn't like this when I played the demo. Okay, so here we are. We are James. We fell down. This is pretty much where the demo kind of, um, the demo I think just kind of covers the first part of the game. My leg hurts. Great, that was my favorite jacket. So, his jacket ripped. Um... We're just kind of goofing around here. His leg is broken, so he's going to be walking painfully slow for a little while. Um, I think it's a map. Really? You think? It's hard to read. Anything in the map. I don't know, though. <laughs> That's what you sound like, James. There's like a giant mouse hole down here, like Jerry, like Jerry from, is that rotten food? Why is it here? Anyways. Uh, all right. I don't know what happened here. What I really like is that there's a really great, interesting use of the kind of like dimension and perspective here. So like we're walking by and you can see the pipes and the background against the wall. Boy, what are you doing? What, what, what do you, just, just, what? I apologize, I'm gonna pause for one quick second here. My cat is trying to get in. Okay, let's try, Never mind. Come here, do you wanna put my lap? Come on. <laughs> She's gonna, <laughs> okay. You wanna join us for this playthrough? You can. I think that, <laughs> oh god, Stella, Stella, get down, Stella, <laughs> Stella, what are you doing? Okay, so we are back, and here we are, so we gotta press the backspace key to go back, why? Okay, so the inventory here, the murderous, so the inventory here is a little, um, that's new. I don't think I remember really accessing the inventory in the demo. Uh, I think that there was only one point where I had to use it. So, the year is 1992. So, 
Yeah, so this little clip here, this just kind of recovers what happened here. So basically this game focuses on the murder of the Smith family and the disappearance of their daughter, Ellen, who was never found. So we know that the father is dead, the mother is dead, the son is dead. Um, and everybody assumed that the little girl had been taken or that she was also dead, but the killer had hit her body somewhere, but we never found the body. And then a few weeks after the incident, basically they f thought that uh, they started seeing like a little girl in the windows of the house. Can you imagine like how creepy that is? Like, it's a very kind of typical sort of horror story, but okay, so I've got a lighter. That's great. I'm so glad. I'm really glad that we did that. That's great. Okay, James, you gotta go find some way to fix your leg here. Ooh, look at this nice oil drum. What's an oil drum doing here? I don't know. Why do you ask stupid questions? Completely fall apart. What? At any moment. Okay. There's a little bit of gas. I can hear water running. That's great. How long has this been here? I don't freaking know. Oh, <laughs> I got jump scared by the car cord. Cat food. I don't like this. I don't like it. <gasps> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> okay, boy, you gotta heal yourself. Heal your leg. Heal your leg. Heal it. What are you doing, boy? No, you need to use this. How do you use? How do you use an item? What? Sounds like Stella's making more problems in the house. Be right back. <laughs> okay. Life with a cat. Man. Always so many things that the cats do. Okay, so wait. I'm so confused. How do I use this? E to use it. Okay, put it in the quick inventory. My, my webcam is blocking the instructions. Mm-hmm. Press tab for the quick inventory E to use it. Got it. Okay. Okay, so press tab for the quick inventory E to use it. Got it. Tab. <gasps> oh my god! Yay! I did it! Okay, so a rusty broken key is useless. I don't care. Can you run now? You can. That's great. <laughs> he just kind of... It's really stupid in the demo. He just kind of makes comments about how he can live off of plants. And it's like... What? <laughs> He's just like, at least I can live off these plants for like three days. <laughs> it's like, okay. Cool story. Like, okay. We're not going to get attacked quite yet here. Um... little handprints on the wall. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a phone call. Last interruption, I promise. Okay, we are back. <laughs> okay, so it's blocked off. Okay. Very funny box. What? Okay, I don't remember this door being open. What the hell is that? What is this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, James. Just don't pay attention to the doll. The creepy doll. Is 
Is this a save point? What the hell? I don't want to be in this room. 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 Hey, please. That is actually not my cat. Um. What is this? What? I got some artwork. Yeah, that's great. Oh, lovely. I love it. See, what I really love is the composition and the 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 usage of um, exclamation points in the formation of the eyebrows and the eyes. It's it's really quite an excellent detail. I've never been to art school, um, so I don't. Yeah, I hope it works too. Yeah, we better freaking hope it works. Ah. Uh, See, I'm just gonna stop for a moment here because this is what's really cool with the lighting effect. Like, you can see kind of, I don't know if you guys can see really up close, but you there's like little lighting spots and things like that on the screen. So, I'm gonna try and get in here. Kiddo? Kitty? Kitty? <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <gasps> Wilbur Rabbit, get away from me! No. No, Wilbur. Okay. All right. I love how he screams. <laughs> that was the shrillest scream. <laughs> well, this is not unsettling at all. Alright. Wake up. James, wake up. We're leaving. We gotta get out of here. Your leg better not be broken again, James. I will- Don't worry, James. You're not dead. Really? Are we not? Really? Really? Are you sure? I can't speak for long, they might find out I'm talking to you. The aliens, she means. I'm kidding, there's no- I, I don't know. I don't know who she means by they. Maybe she means Wilbur Rabbit. I know why you came to our house, James. You're looking for me. Yep, we are. You're probably very confused, but I'll help you as much as I can. So Ellen's not necessarily the villain here, it seems like. It seems like she's- she might be dead, but I'm not- and she's just a ghost that's trying to help us figure out what happened to her and her family, but I don't know. I have to go now. We'll meet again soon enough. Just make sure you stay away from the shadows. <laughs> yeah, I'll be sure to do that, little girl. Like, I'm actively going to go running towards the darkness. Okay. So this is new. These cuts, the, the, these loading screens are new. That's a little disturbing. I see myself drinking blood in my dreams. Get off of my window, cockroach. I mean, my screen. I don't know. My window into their world. There's a bite on my arm. It looks like it's from a little kid. I remember seeing him turning to a monster. My memory's vague. I must move on. Yeah, let, let's just move on. Let's just, let's just keep going. The little footprints are still there. No, nope. we're not gonna start with that. We're not gonna start with that atmospheric noise again. I don't care. You know? <laughs> Why? Hello? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I own one of these. An old wall phone. That's so great. There are bugs crawling all over it. Baron, I don't have much info on him in the case files. 
An old wall phone. It's freezing in here. Yeah. I didn't... My... I'm out of battery! I'm an idiot! Oh my god! Go for a nap right now, really, James? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so what is this? Baron. Okay, so he lived just about 40 miles from White Hill. He ran a small garage in his town, but due to some burden, the daddy decided to sell it off, settle his debt, and look for another work. Baron moved to White Hill, where he worked as a cashier in a grocery store and later. So he was their housekeeper. Um, his little family, struggling years, he was now comfortable, okay. Two, 21789, okay. I'm very uncomfortable, I'm very uncomfortable. Mr. Smith continued seeing his patients. Okay, so he stopped seeing his patients. Carla was the wife, I'm assuming. She started talking, taking, taking long walks during the night. Unbeknownst to the Smiths, once everyone had gone to sleep, she'd always been an introvert, and her new behavior intrigued me. Last night, when she was coming out for one of her walks, I overheard a woman's weeping coming from her room. I opened the door to her room, but was confounded to find the room empty. I decided to look around. Perhaps someone was hiding in her room. As I searched, I caught something in the periphery of my vision. Something glinted under her bed. It was a handgun. Where did she get it? This is a troubling development. This cannot wait. I must inform Mr. Smith of this first thing when he wakes up. So, what happened to Baron, though? I'm like really freaked out. I need more batteries, okay? This is not funny. I'm not going in there again. What the hell? Okay, that's new. I can hide in there now. Letters of part. It's locked. Okay. A lot of this is. Is that. Are we just not gonna question why that's on fire? What? Hey, little buddy, where is the exit? A little house plant. I'm getting the hell out of here. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm out of battery because I'm an idiot. I literally don't know what to do. I'm so stupid. Can I? No, don't go in there. What can I? Okay, hold on. Okay, I don't- I don't quite understand how that works, but, you know, okay? Okay, so, um, it's probably Baron's birthday, so 21. 
Why am I doing that? Okay, 21. 7. 89. And it is! Oh my god, I'm so smart! Yay! Okay, here we go. Um, Baron, it says. I don't know what the raven's feather is for. Okay. There's a lot to unlock here. Some pictures, some... What is this? Drawing of an ancient symbol. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. And I'm gonna conserve my friggin' flashlight batteries. Nope. 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 You know what? You stop your crying. You stop your crying. You stop your crying. I am- I am not putting up with that. Nope. You wanna cry about it? You go somewhere- Nope. 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 I'm- I'm hiding! I'm hiding now. Okay. Okay. That happened in the demo, but I am literally not quite sure why the game is letting us hide. I'm gonna wait. Okay, I think we're fine. If we're, if we're not fine, then whatever, you know. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. We'll be fine. We're just gonna run. I don't care. Not going back in that room. Hell with that. Nope. Hell no. Okay. What? How did I get outside? I thought I came out here. To go outside. Okay, maybe this is the door that's locked? No, this is just the freaky room. This is the room that I don't like. Hi! You're a scary little doll. So that's all just blink. I know you didn't just blink. You're gonna get thrown right in that ritual fire if you keep blinking at me. You blink at me again? <laughs> okay. I have to figure out where I need to go. Yeah. Oh, really? Brilliant. I didn't- I- Don't tell me it's the room where someone shot themselves in is now the- Exit door. No. Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else in here. Wait, oh, wait, this is his, um, this is his, uh, room, so. Why do I have an X? Okay, you know, I was afraid. Oh, you're not gonna arm yourself with that X? I'm sorry, you came across a giant benincula on steroids, and you're just like, <laughs> well, YOLO. So I need to go back to that place in the basement then, I think. So this has changed somewhat from the demo. Just trying to get out of this house. If I was this dude, I would literally just leave this freaking house. I wouldn't even care. I would just be like, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> this is gonna make a great episode of BuzzFeed Stories Unsolved or Mysteries Unsolved or whatever the hell that series is, you know? I, I would be out. I'd be like, I'd be willing to sell my story, you know, to, 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 to anyone who cared to listen.
Do I really want to go in here? I don't think I do. How do I get out of here? I want out. I want- I l- I want out. There is a simple scene. What do you mean? I don't know what this is. I don't know how to use this. It. What? Okay. Wait, what? Guys, I really can't tell what this is. I, I think it's supposed to mimic this symbol, but I'm not quite sure how. It's too hard to see. Um... Something tells me that this is supposed to go up here. It's it's supposed to be eyes, right? But Okay, does anybody else see what I'm supposed to be doing here? I'm so blind. I just I don't know what's going on. Okay, this looks like it's supposed to be a corner piece. This may be a middle piece. This is literally the most vague puzzle I think I've ever had to do in my life. I... I feel so squinty. Like, I just... I can't... I don't know what it really wants me to do. I can't tell. No, okay, so this seems to be accurate. Okay. How is that not what it wants me to do? I think I got the edges right, but for whatever reason it's telling me that it doesn't like my, um... Um, I'm leaving. I don't need this neg- I don't need this kind of negativity in my life. What the heck? What? Okay. Uh, maybe just... I'm not a believer in cheating, but just for the purposes of solving this, because Ellen walks through. I'm just going to try and <laughs> look up how to fix this. Uh, yup. Okay, so I'm back, and I was unable to find anything... Um, of use. I literally, I, I have no idea. What the hell are you doing? Stop smoking cigarettes. You'll die. Okay, I literally have no clue what, how to solve that puzzle. Um, I can only assume that it's supposed to look like the ritual thingy, but that ritual thingy is like, so small that I'm just kind of like, maybe I need to go into the bloody room. Or something. And see if I can't figure out something from there. Uh, 
There's got to be some reason why they gave me the ability to hide behind this bookcase. You know, there's got to be something here. Um, do I have anything in my inventory? I don't. I need the new mystery novel. Okay, James, whatever. I really don't like how the camera kind of zooms in and gets all claustrophobic. What? I'm sorry, what? That was most certainly not working before. Come on, is there really nothing else? There's nothing else that can help me figure out how to solve that puzzle. Well, James, we're just gonna have to die, you know? W getting ripped apart by Wilbur Rabbit, um, that's certainly an interesting way to go, you know? Th there's a fire in this house and we're just gonna ignore it, you know? Well, you know, I don't know what else we can do. I literally don't know what else we can do. I don't know why we're allowed to hide in there. I... I don't know, you know? I don't... There's nothing else in here that I can do except maybe eat some cat food. Are you sure that rusty broken key is useless? I think that you're just being a, a jerk. You know, James, someday someone might call you a rusty broken key, and you'll feel hurt. <laughs> but you're not a rusty broken key. You're just... What the hell? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you. I just want to leave. What do you want from me? This is clearly the edge. This is clearly the edge. I am not wrong here. This is the edges. These are the edges. So like everything that I have to switch around I can't see. I don't know what this is supposed to perform because it's all pixels. This is like taking an image at low res and trying to figure out what it is. No, that would make more logical sense. I think it's supposed to look like this, but I don't even know what that symbol looks like. Cause like, why would this, why would, why would this be the case, you know? It would, it's clearly a border of some sort. I don't know. I am at such a loss here. Okay, so it looks like they mirror each other now. How is that not a solution? It's a little, it's like a little space invader. I mean, maybe it's more obvious than what I'm thinking, but... It looks like, like I've gotten most of it down. I just, I'm not 
for some reason, I just think that those belong there. It's a little dude with his hands up. Is that what it is? I don't... I don't know. The, see, see, this isn't... No. Like, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't do this. I am struggling so bad. See, to me, this looks symmetrical. So everything should be symmetrical. I haven't seen Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. My battery's dead. My flashlight's dead. My flashlight is dead. My flashlight is dead. My flashlight is dead. I am so dead. I am so dead. It reminds me of my school days, aside from the blood on the window. James, really? <laughs> oh, okay. That scared me. I don't want to go in there again. Um, we're gonna say no to that room. What? What are you doing? Okay, do you have an idea for where we can bring this? As per my first observation, some of the things happened exactly as they were in the case file, especially the mysterious opening and locking of doors. I am much more worried about what I saw in the basement. A little boy turned into a monster. I am not sure if it is the same monster that killed the cat outside the basement door. Also, did I really see a dream? I'm not sure. I did find my first strong clue. What happened in Carla's room? Bad shit happened in Carla's room, okay? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't. I hate this room. I hate this room. I don't like any of this at all. Am I. This is what I'm gonna have to hide, isn't it? Hide. Hide, boy. No. How do I get out of this house, guys? In the teaser, I was able to just leave this freaking house. And now I'm stuck in this stupid, stupid house with some lady who shot herself and a giant rabbit. I don't want to be here. I hate this house. Your wallpaper is stupid. It's so 1972. Well, where the hell am I supposed to use this symbol, okay? I have- uh, Do you- do you see the symbol? <sighs> oh my god, Pennywise is here. Oh, hell no, I did not sign up for Pellet and Pennywise to show up. I'm like gonna cry. I don't want to be here. I see you've already learned quite a bit of what happened here. I haven't learned anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought you'd leave after experiencing my little episodes of paranormal craziness, but you were one tough lad. Don't think you will find me easily. I am protected by my new loving family. They know you are here, and they're going to get rid of you like everyone else. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like this. <laughs> For now, 
welcome to my home. I don't want to be here, Pennywise. I'm trying to leave. If you could just show me the exit, I would kindly leave, okay? Oh, run, 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 run. Why are you staying here? James, run. Oh, okay, okay. I guess I'm fine. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't feel safe anymore. I don't know. I wouldn't sit on it, really. I just want to leave. <laughs> Why am I here? What is this? It's music? Oh, that's so great. I'm sure I'll be very relaxed after listening to the music. I don't like this. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. No! Also no! No! Turn off the television! Ghosties! I don't know what you're doing. How can a television run when there is no electricity? Because of the ghosts! <laughs> Duh. Oh, lovely. Why do you have- Yeah, they probably haven't cleaned their toilet since they died. Okay, so I found a note. I don't like this game. <laughs> I love it, but I don't. <laughs> he has changed. He doesn't talk to me anymore. And he's lost interest in the kids. He doesn't share his thoughts with me either. Every morning I sit by his side and try to talk to him when he is in pain. His cough is always worse in the morning. I ask him, where does it hurt? What's bothering you? What's on your mind? But he stays silent. How can I help him if he won't tell me what's wrong? I have tried my best to distract myself from this depression. This pessimism does not become me. I spend the mornings drawing in my art room or watering the tulips and the carnations in my greenhouse. I pass the evenings playing the piano, but it is for naught. Hours pass by, but I failed to get him out of my thoughts. How can you forget someone you love? However, I also love my kids. And these few weeks have been quite hard on Terry, and Ellen has only grown more distant. The situation is unhealthy for this family. I feel like the only way to fix this is to get away from all of this. Sometimes I feel like this house is cursed. Dan has always had a custom of giving me the gift of my choice on my birthday. Anything I want, it can be mine. Lucky for us, my birthday is right around the corner. Next week, to be precise. When we stand in the lighthouse, the very place where he asked me out first and the place where I accepted his proposal, he will ask me what I wish for as my gift. I will tell him what I would wish for us to leave the countryside. Uh, for us to leave for the countryside. My aunt has a ranch there and it'll only be for a few days, only until things settle down, so he doesn't have to worry about his work. He always indulges me on my birthdays and I'm sure he will agree. I'm sorry I'm reading this so fast. I'm like really tense right now. I'm so concerned that something's gonna happen as soon as I close this note here. However, he has changed. If he doesn't accept my request, I will have no choice but to get my kids and go without him. It breaks my heart, it does, but my children are my responsibility. This is probably what happened. The dad did it. The dad was losing his mind. Any other monsters gonna come along? Okay, you know what? You know, fine, I'll bleed from my eyes all I want. <laughs> I turned off that television. I could go for a nap. Really, you want a nap in this house, James? You say that one more time. Oh, wait. Stop. I d There's nothing- Okay. Ghosts, there is nothing on television right now. There's no electricity. There's no cable. I don't see any Nintendo system that you can plug into here and switch to channel 3 to play a fun game. So stop that. Of course it's locked. Of course. Where do I get new batteries? <laughs> Where? How was I able to do that before with the battery? Why did my battery die when I... This is so annoying because I can't go in here because this is dark. I think that there's something in here, but it's all dark. So what do I know, you know?
I don't feel safe wandering around like this. Oh great, it's locked. Lovely. This is another hiding place. Good to know. So, I guess one big strategy for this game, there's dried out paint on the door's handle, is to just kind of... None of you seem interesting. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. I hope I get an option to upgrade my stamina just because James is running out of- <laughs> my cat snuck her way into the room. Um, James is running out of, like, stamina so fast that it's like, James, I don't- Do I want to just plunge into the darkness? Let's just plunge into the darkness. Nope. I don't want to go in there. Nope. Never mind. That's a bad idea as well. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? <gasps> They're bleeding. Oh, I don't like this. James is asleep. James, is it really? Is this important? James, is this really that important to you, man? Come on. <gasps> what the hell are you? What the hell? What are you? You're ugly. That's what you are. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Oh, he can't do anything. He's fine. He's chill. We just have to walk past him somehow. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Can you just... Can you just... Oh. <laughs> what? So, no, I can't. You're rude. Okay, that was extremely rude. Let me buy. I'm upset. <laughs> They're being mean to me right now. I have no I have no batteries, you guys. So where the heck am I supposed to go? Like I'm genuinely curious. I want to know. And what the heck is he supposed to be, huh? Oh, okay, there's another wing of the house that I can go to. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Why? Are you serious? What were you, the chef? What is this, some demented-ass version of Beauty and the Beat? Okay, cool. Oh, no, 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 no! No. No thanks. No, no thank you. Dude, I'm I'm good. Thank you. Um You have a lovely home. Okay, I can't go there either. Where am I supposed to go? I am trying to relax. I'm very annoyed. Um this is the worst bed and breakfast I have ever been to. <laughs> like <laughs> the worst one, hands down. I, I don't have any batteries. I've asked repeatedly for people to give me bit. No, I'm not going upstairs right now. <sighs> I spent so much of this game just playing. Th that's my cat in the background sneezing. I'm sorry. She's a little sick. Um, I spent so much of this game just trying to figure out how to solve that stupid puzzle. And now I can't even, like, freaking leave. Is there anybody in the Baron's room now? Was there anybody in... Oh, no, I already opened that. That's fine. Whatever. Maybe they want feathers. Maybe they want gifts. That's also my cat climbing into places where she shouldn't be. Okay. And with that, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Indie Power Hour. I'm going to take us right to our outro. 
Well, despite the multiple errors that we encountered today while recording, I hope you all enjoyed this look at Ellen. You can grab the full game on Game Jolt now. Thanks for watching this episode of Indie Power Hour. To see future episodes, please follow either me or Game Luster on Twitter. We'll see you next time.